Houston is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. He fires left side. Incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After, After reviewing review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is reversed. reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. Caught, and he's hit immediately. No game. That brings up second and nine. Easy, easy. Quick out to his receiver, and down he goes, the 39-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. And now he's got room to run. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Brought down around the one yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Back five, back five. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 48-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Oklahoma to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. The Cougars, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball, I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. Third, down. Third and ten, ball on the 25-yard line. Listen to this place. He might not be able to get the pass off. Quick pass, tackle at the 48-yard line. That's a good one. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Complete. He's got room. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 40 yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. Larry, Larry. First down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Come on, baby. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop around the 32 yard line. 
That makes it second and two. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 18. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Makes the catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds at the nine. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. That'll bring them third and inches. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. It's up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Oklahoma is up four. There he goes! And he's taken down at the 33. play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. They're about four yards away here on third down. Red two, X seven. They run it for the first and he stops. That brings us fourth and seven. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That's a game of 21 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Roger, Roger. Hey, watch number five. Number five, watch number five. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, push my side. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, hey, hey. And he is drilled at the 29-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. And he's going to be sacked. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That's a team. Kicks away, and he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. Seven six, Oklahoma. They line up to kick this one away. 
He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Oklahoma is up one. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 25 yard line. Second down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So at the end of one, the Sooners lead. 7-6. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. All day, dog. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. made at the 49. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. He's out of bounds at about the 45. in the middle and he hits him hard at the 31 gets it out quickly they'll bring him down at about the 23 yard line Oklahoma with a one-point lead. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That's a loss of three yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. out in the open and down he goes right around the 12 yard line when you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that you've got the defense right where you want it here's the throw i don't think he got anything on that nothing going on that play well here i think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it guns it in there touchdown And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 74 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. Ready! He's tackled around the 50-yard line. Gaining four yards. That brings him second and five. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Jeff, Jeff.
20. Ready. I'm coming. Ready. I'm coming. Gets out to around the 12. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They come out on an empty backfield. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The crowd really making it difficult. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And he comes up short on the two-point conversion. A nice eight-play, 76-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 14 to 12. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma is up two. yard line. It's first down. Hey, hey, check, check. Mike, get you, Mike. Get you. Go for it. Go. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Around the 30-yard line. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. This is the eighth play of this drive. Oklahoma with a two-point advantage. Slings it, and they make the stop at the five-yard line. The Sooners call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Gets to about the five-yard line. Check, check. Answer, 
Zips it to the back. He's taken down at the two. Kill, kill, kill! Fires incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, OU! Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. And he adds the extra point. It was a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. Number two makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. That will make it second and seven. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Stingray! Stingray! out of bounds at the 31 yard line we played a half of football here Oklahoma's lead is nine we played 30 minutes glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And a quick throw. And he shoved out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Got a man, watch out here. And he's leveled at the 39 yard line. That's a gain of four on the day. That makes it second and six. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Caught and up for the first down. Number two makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. First down. First down. I'm here all day. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Kill, 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 kill! He steps out at the 49-yard line.
Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. First down. From the 39-yard line, first down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, defense. Fires it out. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Tackle made right around the 20. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Quick pass. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Pressure got to him and he put it on the ground. Recovered by the offense. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 17-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Oklahoma, up six. Quick strike, and he drops it. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. He goes out of bounds at about the 49. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Caught, open field. He's tackled at about the 41. Five wide. Makes the catch and look out. And he tackles him hard at the 27. complete. He's got room to work. Brought down around the 12-yard line. And the 
This is the eighth play of the drive. Oklahoma is up by six. He might have a chance. That's a great tackle at the three yard line. That brings in second and nine. And they hit him in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. This is the 10th play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. They come out in a five wide set. Red two. Act easy, easy. Just throws this one away. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Game of 16 on the play. First down. Mike Toy, Mike Toy. Not today, you are. Not today. Ball is loose. Fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. very tough places to play in college football and it's no different today out of bounds around the 43 yard line it's away and it's a booming punt and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Get up, Green Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. Number 16, the intended receiver of the play. From their own 20 yard line, second down. Man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's the end of three quarters to play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. The Sooners lead it by nine. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. He can't hang. Go ahead. He heaves it deep. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. Fourth down. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. There's a strike complete. Tackle at about the 45. Stop short of the line of scrimmage. One yard loss for the halfback. Listen to this place. Fires out to his wide out. And he hits him hard at the 47. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They make the stop at the 44. Number 31 makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Catches it, and that's all. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second and five. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They he gets to about the 31-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. And this play is number eight on the drive. Inside the 10. Tough throw in the run and caught. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Roger, Roger. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oklahoma is up two. Complete, he's got room. He's taken down at the 41. it out there inside the 30 finds his receiver who's all alone touchdown Sooners big extra point here it'll put him up by two scores he makes the PAT One great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession. Underway to the end zone. 
this offensive coordinator coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Out to the receiver, and it's knocked away. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Passes to the right. It's picked off. And he's tackled at the 33. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 33-yard line, first down. He has some room. He's at the 20. What a play, and that is first and goal. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Caught with room to work. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. From the three-yard line, second down. Touchdown, OU. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. He's scrambling. He's in for the conversion. So a short three-play, 33-yard drive. And they come away with a two-point conversion. Oklahoma kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. The Cougars thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out for them. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. Quick strike to the receiver. That'll make it second and four. On the catch, and he steps out. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Slings it. Just under two minutes in the game. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Caught. Oh, big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. So we're just about ready to return to action. Tackle made at the 47-yard line.
their own 47 yard line. Second down. Run and he's brought down with a run. Gain of four yards. Third down. Houston staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.